How you doing, folks? This is the second installment of uh, a new series I'm calling Highlight, uh, which is kind of like a, a look into what's been happening in the IT industry, in the tech world over the past couple of days. Um, the first story I've got to report about is uh, the ever-rumoured iTablet from Apple. Um, now, rumours have been going around that there'll be uh, a tablet device released from Apple, uh, subsidised partially by Verizon in the next couple of months, possibly October. Um, however much weight I give to that, I'm not quite sure because there's been rumours for the past two or three years about an iTablet. Um, but if you want more information on that, then you can go to macrumours.com and it's on the homepage there. Um, the next story, kind of close to heart, is the uh, the mini DisplayPort issues the MacBook Pros have been having. There's still no resolution from Apple, which is kind of irritating. And I, I myself had to resort to um, ordering a uh, mini, di mini DisplayPort to DisplayPort cable from the US. Um, which actually solved the problem so I can now use my external monitor but the adapter that you buy from Apple simply doesn't work it causes fuzziness on the screen I think a lot of people are being um, faced with that issue and I think if uh, if you'd like to look at the cable I bought it's linked in the side there's no kind of affiliate link or anything so I don't get anything if you buy it <laughs> um, it's just useful if you have that same issue yourself and would like to take a look at the cable that I bought which completely fixed it for me um, second story sorry third story of the day is um, Worms for the iPhone was released last week I haven't had a chance to play it or download it yet um, but I'm a big fan of the uh, traditional Worms games and it looks pretty simple um, the only thing I have read that's kind of negative towards that is the fact that people have said that the controls are a bit um, cluttered um, so I mean I'll kind of reserve that opinion until I download it and, and review the game uh, the one of the biggest stories recently in the past day or two has been uh, the story of uh, an employee from Foxconn um, unfortunately committing suicide uh, due to the fact that um, whilst he was transporting I think 16 devices um, of the iPhone 4G uh, one of those devices was lost um, and due to whatever happened um, the uh, the person committed suicide, which is obviously unfortunate in any case. But there's been an investigation that Apple released an official statement saying um, that the, the sorry about the event, and they're obviously looking into it, and they expect um, all the companies they work with to kind of have a have a fair employee policy and to treat their employees with respect, so on and so forth. So that was the was it the fourth story today. Then one that I'm quite interested in. Uh, the fifth story is about augmented reality, which is basically uh, say for example on, on a mobile device. You hold your phone up to um, a picture of uh, I don't know, Big Ben in London and you see, uh, for example, Twitter. You see people around Big Ben who have tweeted in the last couple of days. Um, so it's kind of it's bringing the real world, an imagery of the real world and kind of location in the real world, and it's connecting that to the digital world. Um, so that's quite an interesting um, set of projects that have been going on recently, and it's, it's only now that we're really seeing um, people taking advantage of that company called Layer. Um, have an application that's uh, particularly interesting which you might want to take a look at I'll put a link in the sidebar or maybe it's that way <laughs> um, another one which today the Apple Store went down uh, for a couple of hours and it was updated and with the update came updates to Final Cut Studio and I think they said around about 100 new features um, so if you're big on uh, video editing and kind of making your own professional videos if, any, if you don't like using iMovie that might be something for you to take a look at I haven't used it before uh, so I can't really um, suggest whether or not you should buy it, but certainly take a look. Um, another big one, particularly for me and anyone that's uh, a 3G owner or has the 3.0 firmware, is the fact that push notification pretty much doesn't work as it should do. Um, and the stories have been kind of bouncing around the internet, and I think Engadget has a story about the fact that it's on its home page today uh, about the fact that the push notifications were actually kerfuffled, if you can say so, basically broken um, by people using hacked iPhones and something to do with corrupted keys. No idea about the technicality of that, but um, obviously people hacking their iPhones now is coming to bite the uh, the people that have unhacked iPhones in the ass. So that's not very not very good news for us, but um, I'm sure Apple will have a, a fix hopefully soon. <laughs> um, and one that is close to everybody's heart that's watching this video right now is 3D YouTube. Um, YouTube have started experimenting with uh, 3D technology. So all that basically means is, say for example, you have two video cameras that uh, ideally are the same resolution. So you set them up, one left and one right, so it's as if it's t two of your eyes. 
and you record those two clips and then you merge them in your video editor, um, upload to YouTube and then you'll be able to use, um, I mean, say for example you have 3D goggles or those little glasses you get in the DVD box sets and um, you'll be able to use those to watch 3D YouTube videos. Um, I personally get really bad headaches and nauseous from watching 3D video um, so it's not really going to be for me for the time being and obviously I'm not going to buy another HD camera just to get that little bit of extra feature set. Um, but it could be for you, so you can give it a try if you go on the YouTube homepage today. Uh, somewhere along the bottom right you should see um, a blog article from them about that. That was your highlights for today and the past few days. Um, if you liked what you saw, and if you like this kind of format where um, you're told the technology news as opposed to having to trawl through um, dozens of blogs to find it, then by all means subscribe. If not, sorry. <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.